Love is Blind, season three, episode three and four. I was trying hard to stay up late, watch. I watched like a half of an hour. I woke up around three. I watched one hour. And um, I'm still behind one seat, one episode. So I'm going to watch that uh, today. And maybe we'll try to do a live. Do not tell me anything that happened on the other episodes, five, six, and seven. I don't want to know, okay? <laughs> I don't want to know. Uh, be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. What do you think of the couple? I'm just going to do a real quick video this morning. I want to know what you guys think of the couple. Thanks for those of you who are signing up for GNC to Ministry and, and still picking up my books. New books are coming out very, very soon. And um, this is not about who's still together. Uh, we're going to, um, I'm excited. I'm excited about my new books coming soon. Okay. All right. And are you watching Married at First Sight comes out tonight? Are you going to be watching live? I'm probably not going to be watching live because I just don't have the time. Um, but, um, we'll see. I'll see. Cause you know, I'm in love is blind now. I I'm hooked. And I want to see what these couples are doing and um, who's still together, who's not together, who got married, who got married and who didn't get married. So I'm probably not going to watch, but we'll see. You know how I go. Okay. I go based on how I'm feeling. <laughs> okay. So, um, of course, um, Alexa and Brennan was the first couple. I feel raw, but everybody's saying there's always a couple that's divorced, that, that it gets engaged in the first episode. I feel like I really didn't get to know that. And let me just say this. Alexa's look like this guy I know. I'm just saying. She looks like this guy. I know. I'm going to ask the girls at the job today. It's just that they know who the guy is. Well, he's a guy who is a girl now. I'm going to have to ask a confidant who's not going to run her lips, okay? <laughs> but Alexa looked like this guy. But anyways, I really do like them initially. But after season episode three, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know now. I like them initially. And, and why did Alexa show up in a black sweater, girl, at the dinner? I said, girl, you've seen this man. You haven't seen him in however long. You in Malibu, California. And you're going to dinner, black leather pants, very nice, but a black sweater? I was like, Lord, Alexa, child, what's the people on Love and is Blind dressing you? Because I thought everything she wore in the pods were beautiful and complimented are uh, her and she's a tall girl that's a good thing about alexa is that she's tall she can get away with alexa okay so bartiz and nancy bartiz i think he was initially leaning towards raven but right when when he was pouring out his heart and then Raven is in there working out and not, 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 you know, when somebody's talking to you or sharing your heart, you're supposed to, oh, wow, I'm so sorry. Oh, and she was just working out. And he's like, are you working out? And in his voice over, he's like, I, here I am pouring my heart out to somebody and you're in there working out. And he's like, did I choose the wrong girl? And he ended up choosing Nancy. Personally, I think Nancy's too old for him. I really do. But let me talk about Bartiz now. Bartiz is sexy. Ooh, child. That's one sexy man. Okay. And he's not even, he's not really fully developed yet, if you know what I mean. Like, he's he's 25. So, I don't think he has to fill out his body yet. You know what? <laughs> You know how, like we say, they, they have a fill out their teeth. I said, wait for little Michael to get his big teeth. All the seven-year-old have their big teeth. Little Michael is still walking around. Gum. <laughs> Eating over here. <laughs> he biting his chicken all the way over here. One little rat teeth over here. Um, But he ended up choosing, um, choosing Nancy. 
And I personally think Raven is very smart. Two things that happened that I said, she is smart. And when Raven was talking to him and he said, I've dated much older guys. I was in a long-term relationship with this older guy. And she said, you, you see where I'm going, right? And he's like, no, nah, I don't see where I'm going. Basically, Raven was trying to check um, Bartice's money. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. He did not get it. And then he said, well, you know, I'm not broke or anything, but I can't be buying you no roller Rolex or anything. She was smart. And then later when they came back and uh, I really felt Raven was going to was thinking that Bartice was going to ask him her to marry her or talk, tell him how she's feeling about him. He's feeling about her since she was the one that was always expressing feelings of emotions towards him. And when he's talking and, and she thought that's what's going to happen. And he's like, I'm in the pods with you. Like, let she, Lexi, you could check it. Go check. Make sure you have everything you need. She was in the pods. When he was talking about, I'm in the pod with you, but I have a burning desire to be in the, in the pod with somebody else. And he's like, sure, I'm going to tell you. Nancy, her face was like, then she pivoted. She said, oh, yeah, because, you know, I was feeling the same way, too, that I really care for somebody else and blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting there shaking my head. I'm like, you lying, girl. You lying. But that was smart. It was smart of her to pivot to say, yeah, I was thinking we're not compatible. I can't give you what you need and what you want. And I was like, lies, lies, Raven, lies, girl. But that was good. You pivoted really good. So he ends up choosing um, choosing Nancy. And then at one point, I thought Nancy was going to go with Andrew. Because based on what she was saying, oh, we're going to have this kind of life, this kind of life. And then when he got down on one knee and he said, and she said, I can't picture my life with you. Well, she said, we could have a good life, but it's not the life that I want to have. That really touched me because I was like, yes, girl. You have to be able to manage. Uh, Lexi, your van is here. Mike, could you do that paper for her, please? Thank you. Uh, you know, picturing her life with him, with Andrew. I would love to get to know more about Andrew. I mean, I'm all for cool, calm, and collected, but I want to get to know more more about Andrew. And then, then, then she said, then she said, you know, guys talk about what they have and what they don't have. I didn't totally agree with that because I think as a man, a man is supposed to show you what he can do for you. Okay. Because that's what dating is, ladies. Dating is not having sex, not shacking up, not having babies, but it's, it's, kind of mirroring what a marriage would be. He is supposed to show you how he can provide, how he can protect you. And she is supposed to show how I can be supportive. Love you much, Lexi. Have a good day. You have your phone? Okay, good. How he, you can support him and how you're not combative and how you can be submiss submitting, not submitting to him. Because we know over here, Janice Hilton, submission is for husbands only but you show that in listening to him, getting his advice on certain things, being cooperative, not being combative, and, and stuff like that. I was really shocked when she said no, because at first I was thinking, oh, she going to say yes to Andrew? Girl, and then when Andrew went back and he was he was sitting there crying, putting the tear in the, in the eye, and he asked the producer, is this okay to do? And the producer said, well, are your eyes hurting? It's okay if your eyes are hurting. Then when he put it in, and then he turns this way, turns this way, and said, I, I would think somebody would make me cry. And the eye drops is running down his heart. I hollered. I I was like, Andrew, those are not your tears. Those are not your tears. Well, Andrew was looking good, though. I'm going to tell you that. Andrew was looking really, really good. So, um, Bartice is with Nancy. Personally, I think she's too old for him. Um, 
I think Nancy needs to be with an uh, uh, older, like she said, 33, an older guy. Well, we, sh we shall see. We shall see what happened. I really like Bartiz. Bartiz is extremely sexy. I really like him, especially when he, he had no shirt on and in the tub. I was like, okay. Okay, Brother Bartiz, Baptist. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't know about Nancy and, um, and, and Bartiz. Okay. Cole. Somebody said, oh my God, Janice. Uh, in my last video, I said, uh, he's a dusty. He's, and I say he's a dusty. I was getting dusty advice from him because he said to Colleen, they would have great sex, hot kids, but they would be poor. And I'm like, you're a realtor. So, you are not ready to be a provider. So how you on the show? Are you on the show trying to look for somebody to help you to provide? You're supposed to be a provider. So do I still like Cole? I still like him. I just did not like what he said because in my mind, <clears throat> if you're ready to be a husband, then you need, you need to be able to fulfill your basic needs, your basic priorities are professing your love, providing, and protecting. I actually like Cole and Zabid. Where is Zabid from? I know she's from England, but is she like Indian or something? Is she, her descendants are like Indian or something, something like that. She's not, she's not a typical white person. Like Cole is just a typical white dude. Zabid is not. I think she's either mixed with something or her family's Indian or something. I, I'm going to read up on them today and see, figure out where she's from. But she's, she is very pretty. I actually liked them initially, but after the night and they woke up and they didn't talk to each other for a couple of hours. And I'm like, well, what's the matter? And when they were in the pool and she was like, oh, you know, I want to get my hair wet. Okay. Well, you know what they say about the Indian people. They're black, but you know, they don't claim it. But anyways, but you know how we black girls do. Don't you wet my hair. <laughs> don't you wet my hair. And she was in the pool talking about, oh, my eyelashes. And he was like, I like natural. And my thing is, Zabid, you should have gotten in the pool. You know what I mean? You know you was going to the pool. Take your eyelashes off. Because Cole is that fun personality. I like fun personality. And um, I like to have fun. And I like to laugh. And stuff like that. And um, once she took her makeup off, he was like, well, you look different. <laughs> You look different. And she was hoping he was going to um, knock her boots. Hold on, y'all. Mike? Mike? Can you bring the charger down for me, please, the computer? Thank you. She wanted him to knock the boots, and I guess it didn't happen in the night. And then they got up and not talking to each other. Cole is going to claim he was tired and he wanted to let her sleep. I just think he was disappointed after she took the makeup off. But she is really pretty. Even without the makeup, she's very pretty, very nice, clean skin. She has some freckles. I just think that the picture he saw... When they met and the picture he saw before the night is two different people. But we will see what happened with them. Um, I like them initially, but now I'm questioning if they're going to work out. Let me tell you, Raven is smart. Like I said, Rehenny, when Bartiz was saying, I like somebody else, she was like, well, right, me too. I don't like you like that. And I don't think Raven is attracted to KS. I don't think she like him. I think she was, he was, or KS is the fallback guy. I think she, because uh, Bartiz didn't want her, then he went on over here and flocked over to KS. I don't think she liked him, girl. And soon as the thought left my mind, KS came on the screen and said, it's going to take some time for us to be physically attracted to each other. She's not physically attracted to you, Bart, uh, KS. She doesn't find you attractive. You find her extremely attractive. But you, she doesn't find you attractive. And I have a feeling KS has this problem. Hold on.
I think KS has this problem uh, because he said on dating apps, um, you know, people have so many requirements of what they want and race and stuff like that. And I think KS is trying to attract non-African girls and he needs to just go ahead and get him um, an African girl. They will like you and be attracted to you and like your race and all of those stuff. And I don't know why he up here trying to be attracted to non-African girls. Then we learn his dad, he's one of 17 kids. His daddy uh, is a polygamist and he has several wives, but he don't want that. And something else KS said that I was looking at him crooked talking about he doesn't believe in traditional roles. Bull crap, honey. Who raised you? Who raised you, KS? Because they, I don't know one African man that say that. And I work with a lot of them. I know with a lot of them, honey. These African men, they was like, oh, no, honey, I paid the bills. I paid the mortgage around here. No, no, no. That's disrespectful. My white PN for my mortgage. That's disrespectful. Thank you. Uh-uh. They don't put up with the talk about non-traditional. Oh, no. No. Well, that's disrespectful. I don't care. I don't care if I spend every penny paying the mortgage. My wife ain't paying no mortgage. So when KS talking about he don't believe in tra no traditional roles, I'm like, well, where, where are you from? <laughs> Is there another Nigeria that I don't know about? Though I do believe in my marriage list um, work book I'm working, I'm going to talk more about how wives, you need to sit down and talk before you get married because your husband go work one job but you have five jobs in the home and especially with the kids don't tell me it is only the wife's responsibility to take care of the kids i don't think so because you as a father you need to be involved you need to give them baths you need to read you need to take them to tutoring you did it can't just be on the wife. Now, and I understand the wife taking care of the home and making sure meals are cooked and stuff like that. But when it comes to those children, uh, uh, I will not be believing the bull crap. But she's not attracted to him. K is the fallback guy. And I, I I don't think she's going to ever grow really attracted to him. Um, Colleen and Matt. I have to say I really like them. I was like, wait a minute now. They are extremely sexually attracted to each other. But I was like, when I saw them together at, in California, in Malibu, I was like, wait a minute. I really like them together. I was kind of shocked that I really like them. But I'm glad Colleen got her somebody. Uh, and he seemed to be really into her and he likes her and they had hot, passionate sex the night before. They had fun the night of the when they came to Malibu. But I'm very surprised. I am very, very surprised. I just I I had kind of kind of put them out of my mind because they just wasn't at the forefront to me. But after I saw them in Malibu, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was switched, I was like this. Wait a minute, I like them. <laughs> I like them. I'm a move on, girl, because I'm late. I'm ready late. Um, is that it? That's that's all the couples. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So let me remove this because it's frozen. Um, I'm I was very surprised, but so tell me what you think about the couples. I'm gonna come home. I'm going to watch episode through four and then should we try to do a live I, I don't get it i'm not getting enough comments so i'm thinking enough people are not watching and maybe it's because i missed it maybe <laughs> maybe the wind was last week and i'm coming after the wind i think that's what it is i'm not getting a lot of comments so i don't know if i want to do a live on ready on love is blind i'm gonna come home watch the fourth episode and then i'm gonna do a quick review then i'm gonna start watching episode five and then since i'm caught up i will review an episode per day so that i can get what i need to get and give y'all what i need to give you i absolutely love you and adore you let me know what you think about the couples who do you think is a good match who do you think is gonna get actually get married who do you think is not going to get married love you talk to you later bye